Hi and welcome back to this series on Microsoft Power Apps. Today I'm going to show you how to build a people picker using a combo box control. These are really simple to use and really versatile and you don't even have to just use them for people pickers, they'll work for all sorts of data. But in this example I'm going to show you how to use a combo box to build a people picker and I'm going to connect that people picker or I'm going to connect that combo box to uh, Office 365. Hey, like I always say, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is drop a combo box down onto our application. So this combo box is going to form the basis for our people picker. Let's rename this to people picker. And I need to hook this up to some people data. So in my example, I'm going to hook this up to the Office 365 user data, user service. Let's add a data source. I'm going to add a new connection. Scroll down and find Office 365 users. Create that. So the next thing I need to do is wire this up into my Office 365 data connection. So under, I select, I select the combo box and under items, type Office 365. And I can see one of those options there is the search user. Open curly bracket. And it's really great. Power Apps is showing me how to use this command. We type search term and in here I want to take my people picker and the search text value so the search text value is uh, basically the value that I'm typing inside of the combo box so the last thing I need to do is configure the search results that are returned back from the combo box so when I do that Let's go up to the combo box properties, click on custom. And in here, I want to set out the layout for my return results or my search results. I'm going to hit person. Now I don't want to return back an image, but I could if I wanted to. And in here for the primary text, I want to display the display name. And for secondary text, so this, remember this is the search results that are returned back. So if I, once I type, start typing in a search query, it's going to return back all the results that match that query. And um, this is the data it's going to display. The secondary text I want to show is mail. So uh, why I'm choosing mail, uh, mail or the user's email address, because uh, in most organizations, uh, this is a unique value where display name may not be unique. Now the last field here, here that I need to configure is the search field. So this is the actual value that, um, that I'm passing to the search query. So whatever I type in my combo box, this is going to get passed to the, um, to the data connection for the, uh, for the query to return back the search results. So here I'm going to choose display name because it's the display name that I want the users to be typing in. All right, let's have a look how that runs. You can see my people picker is returning back people values and is working perfectly. Okay, so one last thing I'd like to show you here is how to reference uh, the data that we've returned back to the combo box. And a really easy way for me to show you this is just to drop a few labels down onto our application. For the text value, I'm going to select the people picker dot. I'm going to choose selected which is the item that's been selected in the combo box. And in here, we're going to see all the values that are, that are actually sitting behind that record. And these are all the values that have come back from Office 365. 
Um, I want to choose for this label, let's display, let's show the display name. In this field, people pick up, selected, let's show mail. In this field, selected, let's show, let's say, city. So if you were writing a patch command to save this back to SharePoint and you wanted to save uh, the user's name and email address to columns in SharePoint, you would reference them in this way. If you like this video, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all my new videos that I'll be posting. And of course, feel free to leave comments in the comments section below. I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.